Hi everyone! Today we are going to watch a very special movie, which is a classic English comedy from series of Mr. Pitkin's Adventures, created and played by Sir Norman Wisdom. The movie is an original English language and has English subtitles. For better understanding and learning English, we'll analyze some words and phrases in detail. For more convenience, the movie will be uploaded in several parts. Enjoy watching the movie! Pretty! <laughs> Chapa. Well done, Bikin. Two ounces over, Mr. Bimsdale. It's all right, Pipkin. It's mostly bone. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there you are, Mr. Kapoor, the best New Zealand lamb. Fifteen and ninepence. One ounce is one twelfth pound and is equal to 28 grams. In the description below this video, there is a link to one of my videos explaining in detail American and some British units of measurement. Over, in this context, it means more than should be. For example, overweight, overrated. The opposite to over is under, which means less than should be. For example, underweight, underrated. Two ounces over, Mr. Bimsdale. It's 
sure I could get it mostly bone. How? <laughs> Both the best New Zealand lamb. Fifteen and ninepence. Please, Amy. Robbery, that's what it is. Picking up the mortise craft to tell you we're not here to give all the dogs of the neighborhood free meat. It was mostly bone, Mr. Grimsdale. The next time a dog comes into this shop, I'll, I'll deal with it. It means he's going to put it in his sausage meat. You're not suggesting that Mr. Grimsdale uses dog meat in his county sausages now, are you? Here, Mr. Grimsdale. <coughs> Show him your gold watch and chain. From the Association, Association of Midland, Midland Family, Family Butchers, Butchers and Poulterers. First prize. First prize for quality and hygiene. It's my proudest possession, Mrs. Cutforth. Oh, yes, that's nice. Good morning. Uh, thank you, Pitkin. Next, please. I'll have a pound of potatoes, two tins of sardines, and a half underweight of coal. Mr. Grimsdale, what might I ask is the time by your gold watch and chain? One o'clock, Pitkin. Oh, yes, of course. Early closing, isn't it? Phrasal verbs in this context, to deal with, to take action in order to achieve something or in order to solve a problem. For example, how do you intend to deal with this problem? To give over, British old fashioned to stop doing something. For example, oh, give over, it's not my fault. To go off, if a gun goes off, it fires. For instance, his gun went off accidentally. The hundred weight is a British Imperial and US customary unit of weight or mass. Its value differs between the US and British Imperial systems. The British hundred weight is equal to 112 pounds, which is around 50 kilos. Therefore, half hundred weight is about 25 kilos. Robbery, that's what it is. Picking up the mortise craft to tell you we're not here to give all the dogs of the neighborhood free meat. It was mostly bone, Mr. Grimsdale. The next time a dog comes into this shop, I'll, I'll deal with it. It means he's going to put it in his sausage meat. You're not suggesting that Mr. Grimsdale uses dog meat in his candy sausages now, are you? Here, Mr. Grimsdale. <laughs> Show him your gold watch and chain. From the Association of Midland Family Butchers and Poulterers. First prize. First prize for quality and hygiene. It's my proudest possession, Mrs. Cutforth. Oh, yes, that's nice. Good morning. 
Thank you, Pitkin. Next, please. I'll have a pound of potatoes, two tins of sardines, and a half underweight of coal. Mr. Grinfell, what might I ask is the time by your gold watch and chain? One o'clock, Pitkin. Oh, yes, of course. Early closing, isn't it? Seconds are ticking away, but can I don't know. I can hear them. How long will the ambulance be? Oh, uh, about 18 feet, Mr. Grimstow. 